present and future past Jolly Jolly here. I just wanted to say, if it sounds like I'm talking to people in my walls, it's because I was streaming, I swear. Enjoy the video, enjoy. Skip the intro. No. Wait. Wait. So that was the intro, but it's not the real intro. There's a different opium equivalent somewhere. Opium equivalent? What? But I need my opium. What? What? I'm gonna start having withdrawals. Are you kidding me? What am I gonna do without my opium? What? Skip the intro. No. Oh. Oh, I fell asleep. Hey. Oh, there's a girl there. Made a super ritual symbol. Uh oh. You won't. You won't if you leave the heroine alone. What? No, but how am I supposed to get my mind up? Huh? How am I supposed to get my mind up if I don't have my opium? Huh? What else am I supposed to do? I feel like someone's watching you while he sleeps. Your voice is echoing from the he the beheaded wizard. We're in his radius now. Better not let me down now. Wait, so I really just got Nasra with me the whole, the whole time. <laughs> so I really just got Nasra with me here. He's just chilling. Oh, Nasra. Booze, lavender, booze, smokables, all the healthy stuff. You sure do. Yeah, well, hey. I couldn't ask for more. I couldn't ask for more. Got my main man, Nasra. So what is this? I can't... Can I wake this guy up? Hey. Hey. Wake up. Um, um, actually, excuse me? Curly-haired man. Excuse me. No answer. Uh, excuse me. Excuse moi. Okay, I'm done. Why can I not read this? Let me read that. Oh, yeah, I can go diagonally. What is that? What the? What is this? this is so cursed. Look at this. That's cursed. Well, what about this guy? This guy's got like a nice fancy schmancy hat. Wild? It is wild. Look at this. It's like magic. Good lord. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, fine. An old pamphlet. There doesn't appear to be anything interesting printed on it. You search the luggage. You found a purified talisman. What? Okay. Hey, free purifying talisman. All right. Can I go into my inventory? Oh, I can. What are these symbols? Why, why do they make the symbols so complicated to read? So I have items, healing, food, and books. What? The, what is all this? Max body heal? Body heal? Mind heal? Max mind heal? State? Minus state? Buff? Buff? Also, check gear, remember? I guess I won't. A strong occult book written in the medieval times by Enki. Enki Enkarian. The chapter explains the oldest god, Rur. Okay, well, Enki wrote this book. Actually, you know what? This book. This book looks like the S rank ending book that Enki has. So I guess. I guess. Maybe Enki did become a super nerd and wrote all the stuff. Thank you, you know and love. Well, he did write this book. Was this was the book in the S rank ending there? So, guess I know how that came to be. Got a bunch of matches. Oh, hey, look at that! Hey, Dong Jeebus, or maybe not Dong Jeebus, but some kind of Jeebus. It looks a bit different. <laughs> There's a lot of fire. So, what is this? Simple lantern with ornament decorations can be used to throw at the enemies for a small fire attack. So it's like the priest lantern shilling. A common currency used in Prehevel. It is its value is less than that of its counterparts in Europa. Oh. The talisman arises defense against otherworldly powers momentarily, but it might have some other uses as well. Well is that all I have? So what about that's party talk. Check up on your party. So talk, hurting, pyromancy trick. Create a devastating vortex out of your concentrated feelings of hurting and hatred. It requires one rev points. I have 125 body. Read your books too now. Okay, fine. I'll read my book. I'll read my rare book. 
I'll read my rare book. Use skin Bible? Discard! But you can discard items, what? Use. Oh, hey! Moon man person god. Hello. Very much like the sun. Also, the book is shaking. Yeah, rev points is like charge. Charge. That's very much like the sun. The moon is one of the primordial entities and thus has lore and beliefs written since the dawn of time. Okay. Moon lore. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Uh, this makes it difficult to separate facts from fiction and mad ramblings from hidden truths. Consistent details among the myriad of stories seem to hint of a god called Rur, also known as the trickster god and the moon god. In the most ancient of writings, Rur is depicted as the god of the insane and those who've succumbed to the madness. Use it to charge up? There will be a battle book on a couch for you uh, Leave to give you that deets. Okay, so there will be a tutorial book. My one true god. This guy. I mean, what's so special about this guy? He's just the moon. He's no, he's no Dong Jeebus. I don't know. No Dong Jeebus. His blessing to men is his moonlight, which is said to uncover the truth under the human filth. A truth that is often too much for a human mind to handle. It can be debated whether his version of the truth is more accurate than that of the human filth. Who needs a dong when you're a big ball? Okay. Okay. Well. You make a point there, yes. Make a point. Unlike many of the older gods, Rur's part in the greatest scheme of things remains mystery. That it does. Just looking at the night sky, you can see his presence in an, in an eternal slumber. This makes his secrecy even more infuriating. He's literally hiding in plain sight, man. Man, Enki really hates this this god. He's like, Enki's like, man, I, I've been trying to, I've studied for like hundreds of years now, probably. I've studied for all my life. I still don't know anything about this god. Are you kidding me? Besides, Pocket Cat can make up for that. Well, I don't know about Pocket Cats. I don't. I would not trust Pocket Cat for anything. Not trust Pocket Cat for anything. The mark of Rur raises the maximum capacity of the mind. The text includes the sigil of the Rur. And instructions on how to use it. Okay. An old pamphlet. There doesn't appear to be anything interested printed on it. So let me equip. Well, what is equip? Oh, this is equip. Beheaded wizard. So he's an accessory. A dried and burned, severed head. The face is forever left in a spiteful grimace. Uh, the head is not without purpose, though. Sometimes a, a some kind of power in its reflects otherworldly attacks occasionally. Okay, so he attacks every now and then. <laughs> Man, look at Anki. Man, he's even got a super beard. Look at that. Man, he, he, he was down there for a while, huh? Yeah, pay attention to the books. I'll explain a lot of the ritual circle stuff. Well... So we got a bunch of stuff. Throw in a ring. A ring with ones that... Emits a steady flow of poison to his wearer. Steady flow makes one immune to more to uh, potent toxins. Nash. Yeah, well. Well, uh, he, I mean, he's just chilling with me, huh? <laughs> he really is just chilling there. Oh, a knife. Well, Lacks size makes up in speed. Oh, I see. It still has the same sound. What is this? A seemingly simple shaker instrument. The combination of the pebbles inside and the various pearls that tie down to it creates a hypnotic rhythm that helps one to focus on the otherworldly. Magic attack way up. It's plus 20. Hello. But you did the dungeons good, so you have an extra max, max HP. Really? How did I even do the dungeons good? I didn't even do anything. What did 
I even do? Also, does the thorn ring stay on for literally ever? If I use it? No, it doesn't. It does in the last game. So what is this? Oh, this is uh, crafting. What is this? That's commands. And then the last one is... On pamphlets. Last one is just uh, exit to title. Ooh, lots of luggage here. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, so suitcase have left here without supervision. What? Haven't used it in ages, though. Old pamphlets. Wait, what? Wait, what haven't you used in ages? Wait, what? I completely forgot what I was even talking about. Wait, is there a way down here? What is this? Door won't open. It seems locked from the outside. Oh. I don't want to go there just yet. How do I run? Thorn ring and terminal. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, the thorn ring. I don't know how it works, so, uh, I'm not going to use it until I know. Why can't I loot the super suitcases? Come on. Why not? The door to the previous cabin is locked from the other side. Looking through the window, the cabin seems pitch black. Okay. Wait, is that, is that guy the thug? Kind of looks like the thug a little bit. I don't know about the fedora or man person. That guy. Go with the hat. Shift, maybe. I'm pressing shift. I might not be able to run because it's like an intro. Boxer? Yeah, the boxer guy. Lol, thug. It, it says thug boxer on his thing, actually. It does say, it says thug boxer on his thing. So technically, you know, he's supposed to be like the hooligan guy. He's like that, you know, he's that, he's that trope. I like that anime trope. Found a vial of oil. Okay. What's this? Nothing? Oh, it's kind of dark. Rotten meat? What's, why is there rotten meat in there? Disgusting. Man, I want to loot. What's this? A wall of suitcases? Something feels off. Can someone 30 plus be considered a hooligan? Well, well, well maybe. I mean, I, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if he can. But I mean, then again, we have Nasra here, so we have Nasra. If if Nasra exists, then yes, someone 30 plus can be a hooligan. Yes. Uh, what is happening? Why are there so many suitcases? What was that? It was like a fairy. This place, it's uh, not trained anymore. Oh, janitor. You. <laughs> this guy's naked. What? What are you? What, what are you? What, why is the janitor naked? You. I've been looking for you everywhere. Just where did you think you ran off to? Don't you understand the hurry we are in? Uh, I don't understand. The eyes of the janitor bulge out from the sockets as the expression intensifies. No one expects you to. You're a stupid... <laughs> You're a stupid fucking human after all. Okay. 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 Well... Kick his ass. Now get your ass back to the workbench. Oh. This is your last chance. Next, it's punishing time. What am I what am I supposed to do? What? You you were supposed to assemble new cubes, of course. What? Wait. Are they trying to artificially make the cube? I don't think that's how it works, bud. As for how, figure it out yourself. If you're not capable of that much, you're beyond hope and useless in every sense of the word. Okay. Oh. What you Googling at? Well, you know, you got a little bit of an open back there, bud. You know, a little breezy, I I'd imagine. You know, a little chilly. Nothing to see here. Eyes in the cubes. Oh. Work or I'll rip those eyes out of your pretty face. 
okay. Well, make a cube. Use direction uh, directional uh, keys to assemble cubes. Hear voices echoing from the wizard. <laughs> Are you? Uh, I'm not gonna say that word. Pretty sure that's like a no-no Twitch word. This guy talks good. Yeah, that guy. That guy. That guy knows what he wants. Are you R worded or what? Why the hell are you playing the games? Okay, Nasra. Listen, I want to play some games, Nasra. Let me let me do my thing, Nasra. How do I do it? Are you potato or what? Are you spudding? Are you spudding out there, bud? Oh. Oh, I made a cube. Oh. Boom. Oh, oh. What's with the music? Well, I'm just making some cubes. Though it's a legit word for time of fire, type of fire resisting. Thought it was also... Oh. Girl in pink is trying to get your attention. Wait, she's in pink. Girl up there, I thought... She's kind of in, like, purple. Okay. Oh, hey. She's the one that made the ritual circle. She's a little suspicious. Tardant. Well... Where do you think you're going? Oh, get away from me. With a ver. Okay. Yeah, with a, with a ver. Yes. Yes, with a... Okay. The table, the table is full of cubes with various sigils carved all around them. Cubes are hollow, though. They seem to be missing some parts still. Kick his ass. I'll kick his ass in a bit. I want to explore. I gotta take my scenic route, okay? Listen, this is how I play the game. I need my super scenic routes. Oh, it's so weird going diagonal. So they've got, like, the god symbols on them, I think. Oh, hey, get away from me. Get away, get away. Hey, stop. Oh, I can do this forever. Hey, never mind. Okay. Until we finally found the game. Okay. I've got, like, triangles next to me. So he's got a weapon. Uh, skills. So I can't use hurting. It requires a red point, whatever that means. Attack. What weapon do I even have? I've, I only have a knife. Rev up. Wait, equip. Oh, you can equip stuff during your turn. That's kind of cool. Oh, huh? well, I didn't get rid of his arm. Uh oh, I'm gonna lose my arm. I didn't lose my arm. But I had no HP. That's a rev hit stuff. You could charge up rev points. So then I need to rev up. Ugh. What? I'm gonna die here. It does too much damage. Good lord. Yes. Don't you have skills? I only have pyromancy trick. What is this? How much damage does that do? Okay, there we go. Got rid of his arm. But I don't know if I have any healing items. I don't have healing items. Well... The only thing I can do here is run. Run! 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 He kicked my ass. He kicked my ass. Oh, I got stuck. Rev. But doesn't Rev take up a turn? I'm just gonna die. Three times. Dude. Listen, I got 13 HP. Oh, wait, I did four. Wait, what? How did I just do 418 damage? Did I crit? Now your bones. It doesn't not? What? Does not. The sacks. Uh, hurting on the head. 
miss. Oh, well. And I'm dead. Well. Oh, it's easier to run away. Yeah, yeah. Your voice is echoing from the headed wizard. See, this is what you get for not listening to me. Here's every bit of what's coming to you. Maggot. Rev is a boost? Three revs is two hits. Ah, I see. That's a weird mechanic. But interesting nonetheless. Let's see you dash around like a little jailbird without these chicken thighs of yours. What? Okay, chopping off my legs. Ow! Okay. Up. Uh, now I get back to work. Well. No, I have no legs. Just walked away to get more materials for the cubes. Your voice is for echoing from the headed wizard. <laughs> Chicken shits. Do as the man told you. Get back to work. Okay, Nazra. Now you're telling me to get back to work. Up, up. Uh, hurting his arm. Get rid of it right now. What has still got his arm? What is this guy? Why is this guy so strong? He's insane. Good lord. So let's rev up. What if I attack his sack? What if I attack your sack? Oh, I got rid of the sack. Oh, it's bloody. Oh. oh. Doesn't look very good. I don't know, buddy. Seventeen damage, god damn. Oh, I'm dead. Stop. Why is it so tanky? There we go. So I can go after his leg. This leg has like spikes in it. Okay, so that's like a one shot. But I don't know if I have time. Maybe I just gotta go for the legs. Well, I'm dead. Well, I almost had him. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, went for the body, buddy. He still does 10 billion damage, so maybe I gotta get- Maybe I gotta get rid of an arm. Okay, hurting- hurting the body. Come on. Go. Go, go, go. Try and two-shot him. Please, I'm gonna die next turn. You gotta kill him. There we go. There we go. Okay, now he's dead. Ah, uh, man. I almost died, too. Man, he does. What? What's with all these question marks? What the? Thank you. Okay, I'm guessing all these question marks are for things like take his soul, devour him, skin him. I don't know what the other two are. Maybe necromancy. And do many things to a body. Yeah. But well, I like this better than the uh, system in Fear and Hunger. I'll tell you that much. Listen, in Fear and Hunger, what you, what you have to do is, oh, you, do you want his soul? Then do you want to devour him? Then do you want to beat him and search him? This is this seems like a little bit better. Uh, collect heads is always a good thing. Well, oh, I actually beat him. I just, I just beat his ass. See that? The reaction of the generous seems dead by all measures. Well, he's dead. Hey. Found a Kasara. What? What is that? Find nothing with dots. What is that? Oh, it's a weapon. Originally a tool for cutting tree branches. It could be used for things equal in size. Like human limbs, for example. It does plus 25 extra damage. Good early weapon, yeah. Look at that. 65 damage. Good lord. Hey, I'll take it. But I need healing. <laughs> I have no HP. But there you go. First enemy beats. Whooped his ass. Whooped his ass. Is there anything over here? Bunch of cubes. 
Guess there's nothing. What is this? It's like a... What is that? It's like a giant spike. For whatever reason. Bunch of gears. The gears remind me of the one place. Reminds me of the kingdom in Mahab. The throne area. Kinda suspicious. <laughs> and they're really making a lot of cubes here. I don't know what's going on. Lifeless arms reach out from between the boards. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm not really... Uh... Oh. Pitch black. Oh. Your head hurts? You feel like you're losing your mind. Oh, is that Francois? Hey, Francois, buddy. Yo, pal. Golden man. Hey. So I'm at the new god's place. Hey, new gods. What are you, what are you guys doing? Hey, Francois. Oh, the tormented one. Hey, he's there too. Hey, look. Got the whole party. Huh, who is this guy? Is that, is that Nostramus? That might be Nostramus. I don't know. Well, actually, Nostramus isn't a new god, technically. So it can't be. Unless that's Ladushi Douche. Maybe that's Ladushi Douche. <laughs> Imagine. Can I talk to him? Oh, I'm ahead. Well. Oh, what the? Huh, who are you? Hey. Those uh, tentacle things are kind of suspicious looking. Well, actually, they're, they're, they look like snakes. Oh, hey, big moon with eyes and a mouth. Okay. Ah, there you are. The moon. It must be the moon god, you ponder. You've read some vague tales about it during your time in the Amon libraries. There's my tattoo -er. Oh, there he is. Or there it is. The super moon. It's got like four eyes going over there. A giant nose and big mouth. Look at that. It's even got teeth. Look at, look at those teeth. Man, it kind of looks a little, a little happy there. Oh. Got you pulled out from that nasty place. You were going deep into that rabbit hole. Now you are safe under the beautiful green hue of the moon. Thank you. What's going on? Uh, what's going on? This is what I'm here for. To explain the situation you are currently facing. To explain the great once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that has befallen within your grasp. Since our worlds could not possibly reach my master. Oh, our, our words could not possibly reach my master. I speak in his behalf. And who might my master be? Well, for now, let's just say that he is the delinquent one. Rrr. The trickster moon god. Ya knew it. And it's me. You can call me Perkel. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that name. I'll go with Perkel. Why not? Uh, I am just a humble servant of his celestial majesty. Perkel, Perkel, the name does sound familiar to you. Green douche. <laughs> Green douche, what? No relation, oh. The name does sound familiar to you, but you're not sure where you've heard it before. Have I heard this name before? I don't think so. I don't think I've heard of Perkel before. I don't, I don't think... I don't think I've ever heard that, but maybe, maybe my character has. He has done a lot of study in my character, the yellow mage guy. You're the dreamer. He is the dream. My master has invited 14 of you to join us in this jubilee of cosmic proportions. 14 candidates, but only one true victor. The festival of Termina is upon us. Oh, Termina. You finally remember where you've heard the name Burkell before. The DD is so often linked with the so-called Festival of Termina. Information about the festival is murky, but it is often associated with times of great turmoil. Many massacres in history have been blamed on this deity and the moon. 
Horrible acts have been committed in the name of lunacy. Ain't no party like a green hue party because the green hue party never stops till you're dead. Yeah, or till Sylvian comes out with her tentacles and tries to kill you. Till that happens. Can't remember much else. The moon god in general is shrouded in great mystery and his ways are often left unexplained. I don't understand any of this. I don't want to take part. I don't want any part in this. Yeah, you'll die of cancer at first. Well, you will get the, the super moon like cancer, I guess. What is this festival of Termina? It is a festival to give you, the humans, a peak to grandeur and a chance to reach for uh, illustrious height. If you remember that the vowel question, yeah, the moon like cancer. Oh, what does the super moon god, the trickster moon god do? Moon like answer, yes. The festival to end all festivals. Oh. This must be all very confusing to you, so I won't burden you with any more exposition and information at this very moment. Reverse melanoma. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what happens when you get moonlight cancer. I don't think I want to know. This must all be very confusing to you. So I won't burden you with any more exposition in a minute of the very moment. If you have progressed further, I will gladly answer questions later down the road. Let us meet again under the moonlights. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. Fish out.